Abby Ledoux is in charge of community relations here at the Tangipaho Library. We're at the headquarters branch in Meet, where the summer reading program is kicking off. And I hear that this year there's a theme, a science theme. Yes, this year we have the Fizz Boom Read, which is very focused on science. And the programming will be all about doing different experiments. Uh, I know they're going to discuss rainbows and insects and different things. Uh, dealing with science and the scientific method and also which involves uh, reading of all kinds of books. And of course parents are always looking for some kind of a hook over the summer to keep their kids learning. Right, which we have our kickoff today. Uh, we have Mr. Paul Miller who is doing the flow circus and he's talking about gravity while he juggles different balls and telling the kids how, how whenever they fall that's what gravity does and in space, which he always wanted to be an astronaut or juggler, in space the, the ball would just float and he wouldn't have been able to juggle. Well, and every year it seems like there's a different theme. Archaeology was discussed last fall, for example, in Independence. So for those who say that these programs don't actually teach kids, I think just the opposite is true. Uh, that is true. Uh, the kids are always learning. I mean, science and archaeology is a big part of learning, and there's many different levels of education and different subjects that kids are all uh, interested in. So science is a huge thing, and it's very important in today's society. One of the things we've talked about before, compared to a city like Houston, I mean, what is there to do in Amid or Hammond or La Ronge or some of the more rural areas? Yet the local library can offer just a wealth of things, especially over the summer. Yes, we have a program happening about every day. Uh, it's geared towards the little children from babies to infants, or babies and toddlers, and then it goes all the way to teens and adults. So we have a different program every day that um, offers many different uh, aspects, like we have crochet, and then there's also um, the teen club, the, where's, there's the comic book and manga club, and then we have the toddlers for reading and story time. So there's just a lot of different programs geared towards all different ages and all different uh, personalities. So there's actually a crochet club here at the library? Yes, there is a group that meets and they uh, learn how to crochet and they just visit and hang out in the meeting room and just have a nice time together, have some coffee. What do the teens do? Well, there's different programs for the teens. Uh, there's the major teen club uh, where usually they'll have game night in the meeting room. They usually play the Wii or uh, the dance, the dance, uh, we game, but also there's a new comic book and manga club that reaches uh, teens and young adults who many children we find are interested in. And they'll sit in this past week, they talked about monsters, and so they discussed Godzilla and the old, uh, the old Godzilla movie and the new one, and the different Japanese monsters. So the controversy is that the new Godzilla is fat compared to his predecessor. What do you think? Um, I, I would figure a monster would be fat, so I don't, I'm not sure what the big deal is about it. So the Japanese enthusiasts say that that's what comes of having a Godzilla who eats American fast food. Uh, well, I mean, I guess so, but, you know, there's probably some large Japanese people, too, so. I'm trying to give you some intellectual, <laughs> cer certainly sumo wrestlers, but I'm trying to give you some intellectual aspects of Godzilla you can use here, Abby. That is true. Uh, luckily, that Godzilla uh, day has already passed, so I think the kids got to discuss the different, uh, uh, the differences between the two Godzillas. Help us to tell the public how they can access these and all the other things at the library. I mean, for those who are thinking, well, you know, this all sounds great, but how do I actually get up and take advantage of it? Well, you just need to pop into our library, and as long as you have a library card, um, you can check out your books. But if you just wanted to go to a program, um, it's free to sign up. You don't even really have to sign up for most of them. You can just waltz in. Uh, we have flyers everywhere that explains when all of our programs are and uh, what they'll be doing. And you can ask any staff member, and we're pretty knowledgeable about our uh, programs. Well, and a great website, too. Yes, and our website, tangilibrary.com, has just about everything on there that you need at every location.